Hey, I'm Tom Ray from Lorenzo's Music, and we have a song out right now called Blue Water Friction. And I wanted to go over each track to kind of just show what went into making the song. So let's check that out. So here we have our track, Blue Water Friction. We recorded it in the open source DAW Arter. We have a bunch of tracks here to go through, and the song starts out like this. So it's kind of a throwback to early 80s sort of English new wave type ska-ish stuff. Not really ska, but kind of it was a hybrid that was around in the 80s. So the first thing I want to do is go over the drums. I've got all the drums grouped right here, and I'm going to isolate them just to kind of show how they came about. So we've got all the drums mic'd up, couple overheads. We have a track here that leads to a delay bus up at the top. So up here we have a bus with a guitar delay pedal on it. During different times of the song, I wanted the drums to kind of just reverberate and echo, kind of a throwback to 70s dance hall dub reggae type stuff. So occasionally there'll just be a drum hit and it'll just kind of echo out like that. We've got quite a few of them during these drum tracks here. So in the beginning, they're pretty sparse, but you can see by these little envelope filters there, towards the end, we start using it more. So while Rob was playing the drums back there on his drum set in our studio here, I I'd use the little fader that I keep pointing at the screen like you can see what I'm pointing at. So this little knob here, as he played along, I would just move it up and down manually to write the envelope to cut out and cut in where the drum lines would hit when he was doing a snare hit. So that was all done manually, and those are the drums. Also going into that sort of dance hall reggae feel, I wanted to have the bass do the same thing. So I had Cliff study a few different songs uh, to play bass to, and then kind of add a bass line to this that was kind of in that style. Now, one of the things that we did for the bass was we pulled up the EQ and we took off a lot of the high end on the EQ, rolled it off because there was a lot of sliding on the strings and it was kind of getting in the way. Plus, none of that tone, as you can see from the fre frequency here, was needed because all the tones are down in this area. So we kind of just isolated more of the low tones to get that out of the bass line that was played. So you can hear that along with the drum lines. Now there's one other thing that was added, and I don't remember if it was me that added it or if it was Cliff that added it, but we have a little chip tune thing that goes like this. Last one and so for that, we use the Yoshimi keyboard and let's see what notes I have on here for it. So the notes say we used a ping chip sound from the chip bank in Yoshimi, which is a built in MIDI sort of database of sounds and stuff that's built into Ubuntu Studio, which is the, the operating system that we use. And then on top of that, we just put some reverb on it and compressed it. And that's really just all that part is. So going along with the bass and drums. So the next part that we have is saxophone. And what we did for that is we just recorded a big, long freeform sax line, and then we would edit it later for the song with parts that we liked. So right here, you can see on this particular track that I have a bunch of different sections of saxophone, and those are all chopped up. If we go down to the original session, Brian, our saxophone player, just did a bunch of stuff. He just played along with the song the entire time. did that for just the whole song. He did a couple of takes. And of course, as you can hear, I added the echo onto the saxophone part as well. So we've got that going to 
a delay bus up here where I'm running that guitar pedal delay, same as the drums, only his is on the entire time. Now, if you look down here, I took several different lines from the song and it just goes. So, <laughs> so I made him jump from a low part to a high part really fast. And then if we play that all together, along with that, the bass, the ping chips. All right, and then what we got next is <laughs> the guitar part, which is actually three different guitar parts played by three different people. So as far as the guitar went, uh, we've got Rob playing guitar on it, we've got Cliff playing guitar on it, and of course, our guitar player, Eric, playing guitar on it. And it's because the song guitar part changed several times while we were recording the song. But the thing is, is each one had kind of a cool element. We used pieces from all of them. So here is Cliff and Rob's guitar part first. <laughs> I'm gonna stop right there before I get into Eric's. Rob's guitar part, which is the bono no no, that was played on his amp that he has over there behind his drum set. He has a guitar rig set up behind his drum set for when he wants to try out guitar parts. I was playing the song and we had them both plugged in to just kind of come up with something and they played together. And after a while, they started doing two different parts that kind of went together, but we couldn't have them do it the whole time because it was too busy. So I ended up breaking up Cliff's part with Rob's and then Eric's part was this which I, of course, added the delay on for his as well. And then we added some EQ onto Eric's guitar because his guitar was really bright compared to everybody else's for some reason. So we had to roll off tons of high end on his. So if we add the sax, the ping chip, the bass, and the drums to that, it sounds like this. One of the last things to cover, of course, is the vocals. Now, for the vocals itself, I kind of do a throwback to that 80s new wave sort of, and I kind of sing it in a, yeah, like I, I want to call it my Joe Jackson voice. Nice one and so content. Not one that leads the rest. So I kind of over enunciate some of the things here. Oh, it's like it never happened. Oh, that's what you do. Do. See, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. Right? That's what you do. Those are what I did for the vocals. I doubled them up because on one side, I had my original vocals that emote those, those sort of enunciations. Nice one and so content. And it was a good bright sound. I have a little bit of a reverb on it, I think. What do I have here? Running the vocals, I have, oh, I have a lot of stuff on it, actually. I have a side chain so that the drums don't get in the way of it. But I also have an EQ that rolls off a lot, a lot of the low end because my vocals were getting kind of muddy with a lot of the bass that was in the song. But then uh, I had a compressor and a plate reverb on it as well, too, to give it sort of that nice little one echo. And so, content. so there's just a slight reverb on it, and it cuts off right away. I ended up recording a second vocal that nice one and so content that has a lot more low end in it and I sang it even very low that end one sounding that leads the rest see it's super plain but it kind of filled out the vocals so that's most of the song but there was just one more thing that we added to it that used to be on the entire song but now it's just in the breakdown. So this part here is an organ line that was really just kind of doing that, that bubble, that reggae bubble. And that's really all it does. And it's on the breakdown section that's towards the end of the song. And when you put it all together, it sounds like this. You do long time we live that line. 
So that's that breakdown part. That's where the keyboard is. You can actually download the entire thing on GitHub from our account on GitHub at github.com slash Lorenzo's Music. And the entire Ardor session and load it up and mess with the files, do whatever you want, remix it, all that kind of stuff. So check that out and uh, go to lorenzosmusic.com if you want to hear more of our music or subscribe to us on YouTube. We do a weekly show, a weekly live show here every week where we just go through our band practice, test out some songs, play some new music, try some new things. But yeah, that's our song, Blue Water Friction. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. But cut off and that's just fine. Oh, it's like it never happened.